All right, in this one, we're looking at some examples here. So here we've got composition of permutations. We want to express the composition of P3, P2, and P1 as a single permutation. So I'm going to start by writing my three permutation groups down. And I'm going to write them down in order. So we've got one, two, three, four. And now I'm doing, oh, sorry. No, that's correct. Okay, P3, now P2, and now P1. Okay, so I'm going to combine my permutations. Again, I'm going to start on the outside with one. So put in one, wrong. Uh, that was not what I meant to do. Let's highlight. Okay, put in one, get out two, look for two, get out one, look for one, and get a final output of three. Okay, continuing, put in two, get out one, four, two, three, three, one, four, four, two, four. So here is my final result of that combination of functions. Now let's look at finding the inverse. All right, to find the inverse, I'm going to switch my rows and columns. Sorry, switch my rows, not my columns. And then I'm going to reorder it because mathematicians like to put things in order. So five, three, two, one, four. Okay, so switch the rows and then reorder to put it in order.